What's up guys? Now I'm bringing you part two of building my gaming desk setup. My name is Trent and let's get right into this. So if you see my last two videos, I made a video of my old iMac setup and then I tore it completely down, made a complete bare de empty desk. I didn't videotape that part because I realized that'd be a lot of time, a lot of charged batteries, a lot of like, a lot of nonsense. I mean, who wants to watch me like empty off a desk and stuff like that? So I just went ahead and I unboxed everything, which you've seen that video before. I'm gonna link it right up here if you haven't. And I went ahead and already uh, put the desk together. I was missing a few parts here and there, and I was waiting on some packages to still come in. So it didn't really make sense to go ahead and make, make a video on everything and only have half the desk done. So I finally just got everything put together. Um, it's been about a week after that everything's come in, and now I'm finally to, I'm ready to make this video. So let's go ahead and let's show you the masterpiece. A quick overview of the setup here. Um, first of all, the lighting for the setup isn't very good at all. I'm trying to work on to get maybe like some kind of lighting like up here so that it can be down on my face and shine up on my desk. Maybe some Philip Hue light around there. But the only lighting I have at the moment is up there in the ceiling, which is a warm, nasty, yellowish color. So first starting off, we'll go with like what we already know. These are the Mackie desktop speakers. Um, they're very, very excellent, excellent, good speakers. I had them set up with my iMac, all around perfect. I had them set up with Amazon Dot with the, the Alexa. Wow, she actually didn't go off this time. Alexa? There she is. So then I have all those. I have those running in to this USB audio interface. Now this audio USB audio interface runs all of the audio and sound that comes in and out of my computer. This is the Scarlet Foresight Solo, and into the Solo I have a, a Magic Jack, I, I, I forget what these are called, um, but basically a 3.5 millimeter plugs into this and it's like the bigger jack plugs into there, and I have this hooked up to a splitter. Now these two cables I have split up to one is my speakers here, and then the other one goes out to this Astro mix amp which run down to underneath my Astro A40s. So that's how I hear all my audio out. So I can hear both through my speakers and my headset at the same time. And then to get Alexa to work in, out of my speakers, I have it split into another splitter, which goes into my speakers and then out to the mix amp. So a lot of splitters going on, a lot of cables, but it all works out eventually. Now what I use to record my voice going into the computer is the Shure SM7B. This is a very high quality microphone. This microphone was used by so many pop singers, uh, so many podcasters, just all around radio stations around the world. The number one biggest thing was Michael Jackson used this microphone to sing Thriller. And Joe Rogan uses this for every podcast of his and his podcast. I don't know if you watch them are like three to four hours long. So they're very good and reliable microphones and I'll probably have this for the rest of my life. So holding up the microphone, I have it connected to a, an adapter here and the adapter goes on to my microphone boom stand. The cord wraps around, goes back down into that blue thing right there, which is called a cloud lifter. And the cloud lifter, what it does is it amplifies the microphone. The microphone doesn't really need to be powered. It doesn't need phantom power, but the dBs need to be raised up a lot. And so what that does, it raises it up 20 dB and, and it goes into my microphone. I power it with 48 volts and boom, the microphone sounds absolutely fantastic. Continuing over here, I got pens, pencils, scissors, highlighters, and stuff like that for when I'm jotting down notes and stuff like that. Then over here to the left on another boom stand and on top of a music file stand, meaning like this is what's used 
put like your your music on for when people are playing instruments and stuff like that and hook it up to a normal stand but i detached it from the stand and hooked it up to a boom arm and so i can have it like kind of like i can leverage it any way i want to while i'm sitting but this is the logitech g13 game board this is a customizable basically keyboard and you can you can combine keys to any of these buttons that you want and so like when i'm sitting here and i'm playing when i'm playing with my controller and if I need something, I can push a button real quick and that, like, that'll that be the action instead of me searching out for the keyboard and trying to figure out what the button I wanted to push. So this sits to the left of me and I'm able to push whatever button I need on demand, like push to talk, um, GTA, LSB, DFR, I have like my lighting, my sirens and all that kind of good stuff hooked up to that. And so I kind of like rigged it up to this music stand, hooked it onto there. I got a command strip behind this so this thing doesn't go flying off anywhere. And all around, I think it's like a really cool idea of mine. And uh, I just absolutely love it. And it works out absolutely fantastic. Underneath my whole setup, I have an extra large mouse pad, a pet cam, extra large mouse pad. And again, I'll link everything down in the description for you. So first we'll start, I'll, we'll save like the best for last. Um, I'll integrate the keyboard and the mouse into the computer here. But right now you're looking at a 32 inch Spectre monitor. Um, it's a really good, cheap monitor. I got it for almost 200 bucks, I think. And all around this is a great HD monitor. It looks great playing like GTA and like all those kind of games on it. And it's just all around an awesome monitor. And I wanted a big monitor down front so I can like mainly focus on my things. And then I got a second monitor, a 27 inch AOV. And I kind of use this to like, if I'm playing games, I can have the internet up there. If I want to search something, I can have like Twitter or something pulled up here, you know, anything I want to like second monitor type of things. Um, it's really awesome. Like if I need to like throw stuff up there, if I'm like working on homework or something like that, it'd be good because I can have information up here and like filling it out down here or vice versa. And I've always liked the um, on top monitor setup. And plus I really don't I really don't have room for a double wide setup here. So I figured I can always go up and so that's what I did and have it hooked back on this arm stand here and it's just working out absolutely awesome. Going to the right of the computer is kind of the same setup as before, just kind of move some swift around. Um, instead of having the newer light on this thing, I have the Logitech webcam. Um, I forget what model this is, I think it's like C90X or something like that. Awesome 1080p webcam, shoots perfectly, you can adjust it, zoom it in on your face and stuff like that. And so it's all around like a cool idea. I kind of have it on the boobs down here so it's like up and out of the way and I can move it to whichever way I like. As you can tell, I really like microphone arm boom stands. Um, if you can call it scissor stands, whatever you want to call it, I call them boom stands. Um, they're just awesome, very versatile, move them wherever you want. If you want to, you can just pick them up, move them out of the way, and boom, they're out of your way, and you have all that open space. Next, we're moving to over to here to the PC. So first off, we just have a classic Xbox One controller. That's what this cable here is for, so I can just... Wired connection is always better than wireless, so I just have this cable here to connect up into that. Um, I have a Reinhardt pop figure. He is the guardian of my PC. I don't know. I just thought it fit in cool with the whole gray and black and white setup. So I thought around it was awesome. So going over the PC. This is a PC that I had custom put together. Not myself, but custom ordered from iBuyPower. Now, if you are ever looking into a PC and you want a good gaming PC, I 100% recommend to go to iBuyPower.com. They will set you up perfectly. They got financing and stuff like that if you're into that option. But all around, I am very satisfied with my build. Everything is absolutely perfect, and I 100% recommend. I'll link them down in the description for you. Please go check them out. So kind of going over on what's inside my PC here. Now, it's not much of a, you know, pretty sight, but it's it's there. Now, for the specs inside this computer, um, I'll kind of read them off fast for you. I got an Intel Core i7 processor. Um, I got a Hydro Series liquid cooler. Um, 16 gigabytes of RAM, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070, 16 gigabytes, or 8 gigabytes, I'm sorry, a gigabyte keyboard, um, a thousand watt power supply, um, white sleeve motherboard cables, um, and all that kind of fancy stuff. And then inside, I don't know if you can see, like, way in there, that Elgato, I put an Elgato HD60 Pro on the inside, which you did see get unboxed in the last video. Then over here to the right of it, I have my PlayStation 4 with two controllers. I have it plugged into an HDMI switcher to go to go to my monitor. That cable management is not done yet, so don't don't rip me on it. Uh, the switcher is also goes to the, the Nintendo Switch. Switch into there to the monitor. 
Got my iPad, got my main camera, got some binders and stuff for my games, and some unboxing products. Got my whiteboard over there. Of course, my cat. Hi, Lily. No, she doesn't care about life. And TV up over there. And it's all around, like, this is my overall setup. I am very happy with it. I am very pleased with it. It was an awesome, fun working project for me. And all around, it's awesome. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, tell me, I, I want to start playing video games. And, I mean, I already do play video games, obviously. But I want to start recording video games. And if anybody would watch this, please subscribe. I really encourage you. And tell me what games you want me to play below. And I'll play them. I'm, I want to try to get a better fan base going. I don't want to be such a narrow channel. I want to kind of broaden my spectrum out and see what I can do with my life. Give me a big thumbs up. I really, really appreciate that. And please subscribe. Uh, I really hope to start producing videos out like maybe two or three a week and just kind of get on top of things. I'm really excited to see what's to come. Have a good one.